Let's get seated in the presence of the Lord. Even you that are watching us are at home, you can see what you're missing. Is that all of us together? But we pray that God is going also to release you so that you can come and we worship Billy and Itagwa face to face. Let us appreciate the worship team and the great work that they have been able to do. Hallelujah. You know, we began a series which the theme is, I will honor God. And as we have considered that, I think today we need to consider more on what God would use to honor him. And the title of our sharing today or our topic is A Vessel of Honor. Second Timothy, chapter 2, verse 14 to 21. And my prayer is that God is going to speak to you in a language that you can understand. And this morning, our speaker was dealing with the questions that God asks us. And there is a question that we are going to ask ourselves next week if God allows. And the question would be, where is my honor? But today we want to look at a vessel of honor. Second Timothy 2 Timothy 2.14 to 21. Remind them of these things, charging them before the Lord not to strive about words to no profit to the ruin of hearers. Be diligent to present yourself approved to God, a worker who does not need to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. But shun profane and idle bubblings, for they will increase to more ungodliness. And their message will spread like cancer. Herminius and Philetus are of this sort, who have strayed concerning the truth, saying that the resurrection is already past, and they overthrew the faith of some. Nevertheless, the solid foundation of God stands having this seal. The Lord knows those who are his, and let everyone who names the name of Christ depart from iniquity. But in a great house, there are not only vessels of gold and silver, but also of wood and clay, some for honor and some for dishonor. Therefore, if anyone cleanses himself from the latter, he will be a vessel for honor, sanctified and useful for the master, prepared for every good work. If you go back to verse 20, and read it with the understanding on verse 21. But in a great house, there are not only vessels of gold and silver, but also of wood and clay. Some of honor and some of dishonor, especially if you look at honor and dishonor. In verse 21, it says this, Therefore, those ones that were for honor or dishonor, therefore, whether they were not met for good, therefore. If anyone of those that are for dishonor or those who are for honor cleanses himself from the latter, whether people said he was of dishonor, he will be a vessel for honor. There will be a change. That God will change you, make you of honor, sanctify you, and you become useful for the master, prepared for every good work. That is a good illustration that we are going to look at in a little while. But it's good for you to know what Paul is talking about. You know, sometimes when we pick only one verse, sometimes we lose the message. But if we go and hear what Paul is talking about, what is this great house? Is it Kemani's house or is it your house where there are some spoons and utensils? Is that what God is talking about? Because we are so quick to pick it and place it in Samuel Gedai's house. Now, what is this great house? And Paul has what that great house is. And I want us to read together 1 Corinthians 12, verse 12 to 27. We are going to read the whole passage. 1 Corinthians 12, verse 12 to 27. For as the body is one. Now, we are talking about the great, great house. Great house. For as the body is one and as many members... But all the members of that one body being many are one body. They are only one body. 
so also is Christ. Verse 13. For by one spirit, we were all baptized into the body, this great house, whether Jews or Gentiles or Greeks, whether slaves or free, that's what God has done, having all been made to drink into one spirit. So therefore, there we are. For in fact, the body is not one member, but many. That great house we are talking about. If the foot should say, because I'm not the hand, I am not of the body. Is it therefore not of the body? And if the ear should say, because I'm not the eye, I'm not of the body, is that therefore not of the body? Those are questions. If the whole body were an eye, where would be the hearing? If the whole body was hearing, where would be the smelling? But now God has set the members, each one of them, in the body just as he pleased. And if they were all one member, where would the body be? But now indeed there are many members, yet one body. That's verse number 20. Verse number 21. And the eye cannot say to the hand, I have no need of you, nor again the head to the feet, I have no need of you. No much rather, those members of the body which seems to be weaker, or the ones we call of dishonor, are unnecessary. And those members of the body which we think to be honorable, on this we bestow great honor and our unpresentable parts have greater modesty, but our presentable parts have no need, but God composed the body, having given greater honor to that part which he lacks, lacks it. That there should be no schism in the body, but that the members should have the same care for one another. And if one member suffers, all the members suffers with it. Or if one member is honored, all the members rejoice with it. Now you, listening to me, whether at home or here in the tent or outside, you are the body of Christ and members individually. Now you are the body of Christ and members individually. Blessed be the name of the Lord. That's verse number 27. I almost get te tempted. So what we are talking about, Paul is trying to explain to us the illustration he gives in Timothy, it, that great house. Now I hope you understand what we are talking about. The great house is not my house. My, the great house is the church. The church is the great house. And Paul is trying to tell us, in the church, that great house, there are so many uh, vessels there. There are vessels there. There are types of vessels there. Second Timothy verse 20 and 21, but in a great house, there are not only vessels of gold and of silver, but also of wood and of earth and some to honor and some to, to, to dishonor. If a man therefore purge himself from this, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified and met for the master's use and prepared unto every good work. In this passage, Paul uses the illustration to help us understand the reality of the church. The Greek word of the church is ecclesia. It is the called out assembly that you and I have been called out. And you know, as far as God is concerned, even the weak, he tells us, let them say they are strong. In actual fact, he says, let the poor also declare they are rich, not because of the things they have, but because of what Christ has done for them. Ten truths about the church. Ten truths about that great house. It is purchased. It is bought. It is purchased. It is bought. It is not, it did not just come like that. There is a price there for. Acts 20 verse 21, 28 says, Take heed therefore unto yourself and unto all the flock of which the Holy Ghost has made you overseer to feed the church by, of God which he has purchased with his own blood. So that, that great house, that church, is purchased. Number two, it is built. It is built. Uh, the other day, is it Friday? We, we, we went for 
trench blessing and uh, foundational blessing and uh, asking the Lord's blessing to our sister Beatrice's house she's putting up at Kawasukari. And you know, as I spoke, uh, spoke there, I said this, that those, you know, those that build, if the Lord does not build, it ends there, but it continues to say they labor. Now, it changes from building to labor. And your labor can be of no consequence of no profit at all. But if you allow the Lord to build, then that building has a foundation in it. It is a building. Acts 2.47 says, Praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to the church daily as those should be saved. It is the Lord who builds the church. The church is built by God. I know there are people who think they can. And what they do is to go to churches. Maybe some of them are in this church. They are looking at all the mistakes and the flaws that we are making so that they can go and start their church which will be better than this. But let me tell you, if you are here thinking that way, always know the church is not built by your muscles. The church is built by God. And he says, I'm building my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. That's why some churches died during Corona, but some cannot die. Because the foundation, if it is the Lord who has built, the gates of hell cannot prevail. That's why marriages break. But if your marriage is built on Christ, the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Now that's the difference. Oh, we are going to have better music. Oh, that choir. Oh, we'll have, you, know, you go and do anything you want. If I have curtains around here, have screens all over. But that is not what has made this church be what it is. This church started in a place to Naitaga Suti. Irikuwa Suti. Kiatu ya brown na kala ya grey yote ju. Lakini tai irikuwa mbao brown. Kwa na kwa milango. But because God was in it, it will keep on growing. And whether some people, you know some people think, oh, Nikitoka hiyo kanisa, nitaenda nianze kubwa hata hiyo itakufa. Hii ya hivi, kwa sababu si yangu. Mimi ndio nitahama. Pastor, mimi nitahama. Lakini hii, ai. Si nyinyi mtaenda muiwache hapa ndio tumeiweka msingi mzuri. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So it's good to know that the great house we are talking about is built and there is someone who has built it. Number 3, it is served by its members. That body is served by its members. That's why we are saying every part is doing something. So that great house has action. And that's why I pray if you are in this church, do something. Hata ukikaa kwa kiti, kaa vizuri na ukiondoka unapanga vizuri. Iyo tu. Hata yako kupanga hilo uliko umekalia. Hiyo ni mbaya. Serve. Do something. Ukikuta makaratasi kule wacha kusema, na hii kanisa ni chafu. Kwa sababu hii kanisa si yangu, ni yako. Sisi ni, we serve. We serve that great house. That's why they are vessels. Remember where we started? They are vessels in that house. That greater house. And you're one of those vessels. Be useful. Amen. Vessels of honor. Vessels of honor. Number four, it is set apart. We say it, ecclesia is the word of the church. It is the called out. So we have been set apart. 1 Corinthians 1 and verse 2, the Bible says, Unto the church of God which is at Zimmerman, to them that are sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be saints with all that in other places in the world who call upon the name of Jesus Christ our Lord, both theirs and ours. Yani hata hii, wa Corinthian. You know the place I said Zimmerman, labda wali angalia yako kwa ona ina Zimmerman, kwa funga upesi. Ni mimi niriweka yangu, Zimmerman. Kwa ni, si? God which is at Zimmerman. Those you and I who are sanctified, called to be saints. So we are set apart. That's why in that great house, that great monger's house, there are vessels and you are one of them. And we are set apart in there so that we can glorify the Lord, the Almighty Father. That great house, number five, it is it's the means by which Christ receives glory. If there is a place that I normally say, watch out to kufu wende kwake. It's when God does something. And sometimes you think you are so wise. It's always good to remember it is not your wisdom. 
All glory goes to the Lord. When somebody asks me, Bishop Jimmy, how, how have you been successful? I don't know. I have not been. Actually, I don't know. I told a Muzungu one time he, he thought I would borrow money from him. We went up to the school there. That, by that time, we had not uh, worked on Tirana's house, Tirana's hall, and uh, whatever the quarters there. So we went up, and people were flocking in, getting out and out. And the Muzungu was so impressed. Nasa ayo ilikuwa yambao. Kani zambao. Lakini ilikuwa mbao mzuri, imepigwa karange kazuri. Ilikuwa mbao mzuri, imepigwa kafanish. So when he was there, he asked me, Now you mzungu, let me tell you the truth. Haja ni yongelesha tena. Kutoka 19, siju ilikuwa 19, tulijenga hile ya mbao ni 95, 96. Eh, hiyo, hiyo mwaka. So when we were there, he asked me, Jimmy, tell me, who are the sponsors of this great work? And then I looked at him and said, you see the people getting in and getting out? Those are the sponsors. Halipo nyamazia pale. Hata sasa. Haja nipigia si mutena. Alienda. Who receives the glory? Not me. It's God. Na hakuna muzungu ambaya metusaidia. Alie tusaidia na hizo mbao. Nilimuita hapa. Aje. Kutusaidia tushereke meaka kumi. Tulikuwa tunasherekea meaka kumi. Alipo ingia kwa compound, alianza kuteta pale. But by the way, he has gone to be with the Lord. He's a good man. Alianza kuteta pale, akasema, Why, Jim, Jim, why is your church not like Umoja? There are dust all over. Yani vumbi ilikuwa hapa. <laughs> unajua kule ya kukwa kumejengwa. <laughs> Ile vumbi ilikuwa dunia hii. Ilikuwa. Ile vumbi unaweza ifanya hivi ujaza karatazi. Wale maasha walikuwa hapa, munajua. No, the dust we used to remove. So we came in. First of all, so he was so sympathetic about the dirt, the dust, the dirty that we were here. Umoja walikuwa mweka changarawe hile balast huko. Kulikuwa kuna unakana ni smart kidogo. Anyway, nikamwambia buwana hata tusaidia tu. Hata hizo mambo tutaweza kufanya. He preached and ministered to us. Then God, because some of you have been praying, because at that time, can I tell you the truth? The walls were over paper. Ilikuwa ya yelo. Na nilinunuwa gekomba. Roll katha. Kujaza hili tuwe tukondani. Because that, that place was a road. Inapita pale. Na hapa kuna barabara. Na kukua ukuta. Kwa hivyo nilikuwa nime. Kwa hivyo hata ifumbi ilikuwa ndani kwa hiyo yelo pepa. Ilikuwa mzuri kwa sababu huyoni. Yelo pepa ni mzuri. So in a, because of your prayer, praying that God will cover this, the Muzungu, when he finished preaching and ministering to us and we celebrated, there was a cake. Ya gorofa kumi, tukaipasua, tukaikula, tukabarikiwa. Tukienda, akaniambia, Jim, would you pray with me? I said, yes. There are some people who are sending money to, to South Africa. When they arrived in South Africa with their money, something happened, they went back with their money to Canada. Pray. Because if that money was for Africa, maybe they were taking it to South Africa, but it was supposed to come to here. You remember what I normally say here? If it is written, deliverance church, Zimmerman. You know, you, it can read like a Muzungu who is a German or a Boa in South Africa, but it is here. So we prayed. Two months down the road, he calls me, he said, Jim, praise God, the money is coming. Mimi hawa kunipa pesa, walikuja nazo. They had it with them. Kazi yangu ilikuwa wakisema mbao, tunawapereka rifro, wananunuwa mbao. Wanajenga. Hata misumari ilikuwa yao, mashini za kukata, walituachia misumeno mizuri sana ya kukata, haa kurudi na yo. Wakapiga na mabati, walipofika pari wakasema, and electricals, nikawapereka tu rifro. Waliniwachia kanisa ambayo, hata watu walishanga. Zima man, for the first time they said, Hii chachi usicheze na yo. Inaandikaka wazungu. Dio wanajenga uko ju. Contractors. Sasa hata sijui nilikuwa nikisema ni. You know it takes me to, to know glory. Glory. Glory yote ni ya mungu. This is the way God receives all the glory. Ukijiangalia mpatia utukufu. Amen. That is the great house. The great house, number six, it is subject to Christ. 
Ephesians 5.24, Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husband in everything. Sasa hiyo someone inaingiaga sana wakati wa ndoa. Lakini tunakosa pale inaanza. Inaanzaga hiyo kanisa hiyo. Hiyo kanisa ya zima man. Iwe subject unto Christ. Piga full stop hapo. Lakini ukitaka ku, kuambia wadada eh, kitu, unaweza waambia hii ni kulinganisha vile kanisa iko na Kristo na wewe uwe na Bwana yako. Tosha gari. It is subject to Christ. It is, isn't it? Number seven, it was the object of Christ's loving, costly sacrifice. Again, if you like it, the best example is also found where we, we finished. We finished 24. If you go to 25, it says, now husbands, love your wives even, now part B is the place, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for her. In other words, Christ had... Yaani sisi ndio bi harusi wa Kristo na anatupenda na anatoa sacrifice. Number 8. It is the visible body of Christ on earth. Colossians 1:18 part A. And he is the head of the body, the church. Colossians 1 and verse 24. Who now rejoice in my suffering for you and fill up fill up that which is behind for the affliction of Christ in my flesh for his body's sake, which is the church. The church, the church, the church. It is the visible body of Christ. So when you look at us, we are the visible. Wewe na mimi. Sio mimi, ni wewe na mimi. Whether there is this building, as long as you and me are, we are the visible. The more united we are, the more visible the church, that great house is. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Number nine, it is the pillar and ground of truth. And finally, number ten, before we, we jump into our sharing, it is provisioned. Yani, the body is provisioned. Imepewa kila kitu. Ephesians 4, 11 to 16. And he gave some apostles and the, it is given everything. Why? Verse number 16 from whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplied. You remember where we started? The body has so many things. Every joint supplied according to effectual working in the measure of every part maketh increase of the body which is that great house unto the defying of itself in love. Now that is the great house. Now we go to the illustration. Because if you understand the great house, you will not have a problem picking up what the illustration is all about. Second Timothy 2.20, but in a great house. Now we know the great house is the church, but in the great house, there are not only vessels of gold, of silver, but also of wood and earth, and some to honor and some to dishonor. This means that not all in the house are genuinely a part of the true body. And I will show you why. In fact, he just referred to two of them by name. As an example, when he talked about Herminius and Fletius, he was saying, these are people here in church, but they are not what I'm talking about, people that I need to, 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 to purify themselves. These are people already. They are not useful. They are not for the kingdom. But anybody who is useful, whether people call them of dishonor, God is able to lift them up to glorify himself. Jesus addressed this very matter during his earthly ministry in Matthew 13, 24 to 30. Another parable put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is likened unto man who showed good seed in his field. So in other words, but well men slept, his enemy came and showed tears among the wheat and went his way. In other words, Jesus was also saying about it that there are some people in the church. It is not that body, not that ligament. But they are there as tears of the devil. They are only to harass. Now normally tell people, watch out. Because even in this church, those that try pick, picking things that are not theirs, the cameras will pick you up and we have picked a few. Come to church and worship him. Honor him. Honor him with everything that God has given you. They are those that the devil has put among us. 
so that they can come and cause the kingdom not to be what it is all about. Not all who claim Christ belongs to him, but all who belong to him will never be taken from him. Additionally, not all who genuinely, of genuine believers will follow Christ in discipleship and live lives that are pleasing to him. So we know there are some that keep on falling and waking up, but God will not throw you away unless you throw yourself away to him. So point number two is the tests of vessels. Because vessels will be tested. And I tell you, you and I are in for a test. In 2 Timothy 2.19, the test of knowing is key because that will be one of the tests that will be tested. Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth true, having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. The Lord knoweth them that are his. Let them, let, let them everyone that nameth the, Lord of Christ, the, the name of Christ depart from iniquity. He knows. Walawake. Then if you are his, flee, run away, get away from iniquity. The second thing about the test of knowing is that believers also, they know that they are Christ's. Second Corinthians 13 verse 5, examine yourself whether you be in the faith. Prove your own self. No, know ye not your own selves how that Christ Jesus is in you, except you be reprobate. So he's calling us that believers should know that Hatamimi ni wa Christo. The second test that will come to you or be part of the test of vessel is the test of growing. First Peter 2 and verse 2, as newborn babies decide this is the sincere milk of the word that you may grow thereby. There is a growth testing. Are you growing? And you know every parent desires their children to grow. You know, I know some parents have come and we have prayed for their children because at 13 they are not walking. At 13, the t- men are jetoka. And now again on a shuhudia. Kangu kariyaza kukimbia, kimbia kiwa nine months. I mean, <laughs> so the, why? Why do some do that? But you say, mungino na mambia tulia tu. Tulia, hata daktari ya makuambia utulia, eh, basi tulia. Eh, kuna wale wanakuwaga upesi na kuna wale wanaraga pole pole. Lakina wako wakianza kukua, anakuwaga wana overtake wale ulikuwa wamefikiri wamekuwa mapema. Anyway, those are... Uh, those I have no idea about it. So testing of growing. Where desire sincere milk. The third test or see the test of showing. Showing. Matthew 5 verse 16. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father which is in heaven. Notice there. I am convinced that you as a Christian what you need to do is to show. Let people see you so that they can glorify the Lord. And that is what is lacking. People want to see you. Oh, I will never forget 1974. Here in this part of the world, there was a Christian, wonderful Christian that I knew. We met in camps and I was visiting where they were uh, doing work. And I went to the, the reception and said, so and so, a Christian born again going to heaven. And we used to, to say, unaenda bigune either way. Ukuo melala, ukuo mesimama. Yote, unaenda tu, we unafika binguni. So, and the person is asking me, eh, ati, umamuitaji? Ati ya meokoka? Oh. Ule tukonea ya hapa, majina ni sawa. Lakini description, si yake. Show it. Let people talk about you knowing the Lord. 1 Corinthians 3 verse 1 to 3 And I, brethren, could not speak unto you as unto spiritual, but as unto carnal, even unto babies in Christ. I have fed you with milk and not with meat, for hitherto you are not able to bear it. Neither you now are you able, for you are yet carnal. You know, Paul is complaining. You are still here, babies. You should show it. Grow, mature, become mature. Show it. So those are the test of those vessels. But it's also good to know that every vessel has a task. You remember where we started that the finger has its work, the nail. Ha- Do you know? 
unajua iko na biashara ama utajua iko na biashara wakati yako itangoka uwe hauna ndio unasema bwana nirudishie kucha kucha tu aka ka kitu kuna ingine ya kidole yangu niligonga kitu ikafanya kama imekufa na ninaiangalia ikikua imeanza kule ilionekana inaoza yeah, i'm looking forward you know na anga, because it has a, something wacha kukata kitu kimeoza oza kwa mguu you know okay sorry kucha iko na biashara yake bwana yesu asifiwe so we have task of this vessel and i think i will talk about those tasks and i think i will be done i will finish by those tasks what is the task of you as a vessel we said it is in this great house and remember we are saying in this great house all vessels if they purify themselves if they cleanse themselves god has no problem in using hana shida ya kutumia mwiko mwiko hey mwiko Watu wa Mombasa wanakuambia wacha kununua hata stainless italiwa na chumvi. Nunua mwiko wa mbao. Hai ni ni shangaa at Mombasani. Wanakuambia hii nyumba hii mifereji mmeweka ya chuma hii italiwa eh weka ya plastic. And you know you can look at plastic pastor Mwashi you ignore it. Kuna mahali inaenziwa. Hiyo ya plastic hailiwi na maji ya chumvi. Ingine. <laughs> Utakaka unaona nyumba imeanza kutoka unjevu unjevu kumbe ishaliwa hata za hapa bara zinaliwa lakini after many years so vessels we need to know they they have work so what is the task number one, or oh, hey, study the right word studying the right word so timothy is saying and we read it second timothy 2:15 study to show yourself approved unto God a workman that needed not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth and i realized in this epistle to paul is writing to timothy as the senior pastor of that church in ephesus he there is the truth that he is trying to tell timothy timothy study the word don't allow yourself to fall off study the word you know, I was thinking uh, when preparing this I was thinking how even you know even as I walked in mambo ya kiroho hayabadilikigi mambo ya kiroho sarakasi ndio ubadilika na niweke period pale ama full stop sarakasi ni miondoko yetu hapa kama wahubiri kuna yule anakimbiaga mbio kuna yule anaohubiri amesema matuzimame imara. Kuna yule ukija lazima uanguke, upende usipende kwa sababu atatumia ugali. Siku moja nikasikia mwingine atumia ugali anatumia dawa. Ameweka dawa hapa na kitambaa mzuri akishika wewe unafikiria ni roho anakupatia hapa roho kidogo akikuacha. Sasa kazi yake ilikuwa kushika. Unaona ah huyo dada analetwa kwa kifua kidogo huyo amepata muujiza akiwachiriwa kumbe amebreathe kwa kitu kadogo atalala pale masaa kwa hiyo hiyo miondoko ndio inabadilika lakini we, wale watu upenda miondoko wanawacha kanisa iko na neno kwa sababu ya miondoko ha ah, pasta wetu kwanza siku hizi kutoka hiyo corona ikuje bishop anakaa mahali pamoja kama kama tundikwa nimeambiwa nikae hapa ili zile kamera ziweze kupelekea wale watu wengine habari so Paul is telling Timothy, hey, Timothy, study the word of God. Let it have meaning. Oh, uyo, uyo, uyo bishop wenu hata ahubiri, ana quote gugu, ana gugugu. You know, let me tell you the truth. My children uniambia hivi, wacha kusumbuka dadi, gugu. Asa, unatafuta furniture. Anakuambia wacha kuzurura kwenda gekomba, kwenda isiri, kwenda wapi? Unataka kitanda ama kiti aina gani? Uandike hapa, uulize stores za Nairobi. Takuletea zile ziko Nairobi. Ukiwa unatafuta neno, neno. You are looking for the meaning of this word. Where do you go? You gugu. Oh, bishop wenu ni wakugugu. The truth be said, hata wale wasemagi ni wakugugu tunajua wewe kuna mzee alifariki tukazika juzi alikuwa amesema hivi ninajua mambo 
lakini sijui yote and i think that's the whole truth i know some but i don't know everything so timothy study the word of god number two, the task of me as a vessel is to shun the wrong word second timothy 2:16 to 18 but shun profane and vain babblings for they will increase unto more ungodliness and their word will eat as doth a cocker of whom is Hermenius and Philetus, whom concerning the truth have erred, saying that the resurrection is past already and, and overthrow the faith of Sabiani. Hawa kwanza walikuwa kiambia watu. Wacheni kusikia vile muubiria na wambia. Resurrection is afanyika. Rapture is a take place. Yani wanaubiria na Timothy hawa taki kusikiza vile Timothy na vio sema. Bas, Paulo anamuambia hawa watu chunga nao sana. Shan. The word shun simply means turn oneself around to avoid something else. You know you just turn. Hermenius is mentioned twice and Fritas is mentioned once. First Timothy 1, 18 to 20. This is what it says. This charge I commit unto this son, to this son Timothy according to the prophecies which went before thee that thou be them mightiest war a good warfare holding faith and a good conscience, which some having put away concerning faith has made shipwreck, of whom is Arminius and Alexander, whom I have delivered unto Satan that they may learn not to blaspheme. So the second thing you shun, the third thing you as a vessel of honor needs to do is to flee. Flee. Second dream of the two, verse 22a. Flee also, youthful last. In contending with a certain sin, thambi zingine, there remaineth no other mode of victory but to flee. Especially the sin of immorality. You have to flee. But I guess was a few. Kutoroka. Iyo umeona, wacha itoshe. Usirudishe macho wapo tena. Wacha nana? Toroka. Hicho umeona. Go with what you have seen. Toroka. Because dhambi ya himoro sin ufanyika wakati umeanza kupapasa mtu. Lakini ukitoroka kama Yusufu umeokoka. Lakini miusema hivi. Bas, ukiona mtu ni mujanja, ukitembea wacha kwenda na court. Enda bila court. Akose kitu ya kushika. Dada, wacha kwenda na ile nguo mrefu inaweza kukuangusha. Enda ukua umevaa viatu vya kutoroka. Ya, yeah. kwanza ukijua ni vijana wanakuangalia hivi juu chini, anakuangalia hivi. Unaenda na umekaa chonjo. Kwanza unajua mlango, uko na mnagani. Yani, you know, siku ingia tu na kufunga, ah, mlango, uko na mna. Kama huyu ni bishop ama pasta ambaye umesikia story zake ukiingia wacha mlango wa secretary uwe wazi ili secretary pale nje awe chonjo akisikia mvutano bedha aingie upesi <laughs> flee flee Charles Charles, Charles Pajon amesema hivi the wings of a dove may be of more use to me today than the jaws of a lion. Spadio na nasema, jaws a lion, Samson zili musaidia. Lakini sasa wings, mabawa, mounting up like eagles. Mounting up, going up. Then Paul tells Timothy the fourth thing. 2 Timothy 2 verse 22b. But follow righteousness, faith, charity, peace, with them that call on the name of the Lord of a pure heart. So Paul is telling Timothy, follow. So there is those to flee and those to follow. Tafuta watu ambao ukienda nao, wanaongea point. Yani ukienda nao, unatoka na ma point. You know, I have friends myself and Alice knows them. Wonderful friends. But this building, when I was looking for money, they never gave me. But I went to them because they have ideas. Hey, hey. Ukitoka huko, ni kama wamekupa pesa. Lakini shiringi, hakupi. Kwanza wengine wanakuambia, "Need here naga pesa ya Arabi." I don't. Lakini unaenda kwake kunywa chai, unamuuliza sasa tumekuamia mahali fulani. Anasema, "Ni hapo tu." 
pass utafanya hivi utafanya hivi utafanya hivi utafanya hivi tukitoka pale tunasema eh kweli twende tukafanya hivyo ama tunaenda kule kuuliza maswali you can go to a person namuuliza nyinyi mnafanyaga nini alex ndiye uchukua notes sio mimi alex anachukua notes anachukua notes tukienda tuna discuss there are people to follow but as you follow them know a few things are these people that i'm going to follow are they men and women of peace these people that i'm going to follow are they men and women of charity are they men and women of faith are they men and women of righteousness if they follow the lord with a pure heart paul is saying follow them in that great house and i thank god for the church in that great house they are those people look for them follow them Unajua marafiki wangu kama nilivyokuambia niko na marafiki wengi. Mmoja alinipigia akaniambia hivi, na eh, Bishop Sasa eh uko na pesa? Kaambia sijui kwani unataka pesa ngapi? Akanambia figa. Akasema ukinipa hii pesa watu wako watakosa chakula. Wanaweza kaa bila chakula. Those are the language. Your friends will talk like that to you open ukinipa watakosa chakula because as long as hawatakosa atakuitisha lakini kama watakosa atakwambia barikiwa sasa nikamwambia eh hiyo unataka nikikupa watakosa lakini ile nitakupa hawatakosa nikupe ile nitakupa kwa sababu si loni anakopa he is not i'm not a bank some of you unataka kupeana chakula ya mtoto usipeane Warafiki kama hao wachana nao wala watakwambia hata kama watakuwa na njaa leo tu wataku ni njaa leo tu na kesho tu sikesho tu kesho kutwa and normally wao watu kuambia kesho kutwa hawarudii inakuwa tuesday thursday hebu tuonane kama tuesday itawezekana ikifika tuesday kama hebu tuangalie thursday thursday ikifika tuesday But I'm saying follow. In a large house like ours there are people we can follow and they are there me I know people I can follow here and I do follow them. And I also know there are people who follow me because I'm also able to help in one way or another. The more the people you have and you categorize them well, the more blessing you're going to have. What are these things? Paul is saying if you're going to follow somebody let Righteousness be evidence in that man. Is he doing the right thing? Number two, faith towards God. It has to do with my trust in God, his word and his ways. Charity is an outward thing. It reaches out even as God does in reaching out from heaven to the lost. So you are looking for a person who is able to reach out. Peace is inward. You are looking for someone in peace. It simply means that War is over they are now fighting we have surrendered to God's reign those are the people to follow oh let me conclude and say this there are two types of vessel because that's what Paul is trying to tell us those of honor and those of dishonor but he qualifies and he says the choice is yours which one do you want the choice is yours There are two types of vessel of honor and of dishonor verse 21 if a man therefore purge himself from these things he shall be a vessel unto honor sanctified and made for the master's use and prepared unto every good work so god has given us all of us the necessary tools that are needed the necessary resources that are needed in a great house for us to clean ourselves to clean our vessel to be fit for use the types of vessel Which are you? The test of vessel that will be evaluated and discovered. The test of vessel that you're going to be. So you ask yourself, what type of vessel am I? Our heavenly Father, what a question to end our sharing this morning. What type of a vessel am I? And Lord God, it all is all upon me. It's all upon me because if I cleanse myself then I'll be fit and I'll be sanctified for good use. Is there anybody who is saying, Bishop, me I want to cleanse myself and I'm asking God to cleanse me because I'm not able, but I want him to cleanse me. I want me to be a vessel of honor. I want God to use me. 
If that is the kind of prayer that you want me to pray for you, just lift up your hand saying, Lord, I want to be a vessel of honor. I want to be a vessel of honor. Father, look at those hands, including mine. 2021, I pray that I will be a vessel of honor, that I will glorify you and honor you, not with only things that you have given me, but even the things that I'm working with my own hands, they will honor you and glorify you. My life, let it be useful to you. Because I'm in this house, this great house, I want to be useful in the house of God. For this is my prayer in Jesus' name.